Hello, hello, good evening everyone, good evening and welcome. Um, sorry, I was just a little hello. bit late, but uh, here we are. Ready to get started on the last lesson for this week. Um, a starting week for uh for this module. And well, for tonight, we have the conversation that we were taking a look at um yesterday. We also have um to continue talking about special occasions and some of the common practices that we have when we um, celebrate special occasions. And then we're going to do a little bit of reading uh, with the reading, what are you going to do on your birthday? So those are going to be the main activities for tonight. Apart from that, we also have the fact that um, we can get to talk about the question for the evening or the practice for the evening. And, uh, well, this is something that you guys can expect, okay, for almost every Thursday or almost every last day of the week, because sometimes, of course, depending on how well we can develop the week, we might have classes on Friday. Um, so, but for regular weeks, for weeks that have only Thursdays, um, the practice for Thursday is going to be related to your weekend, um, basically, we're going to be talking a little bit about possible plans or ideas that we have for the coming weekend. So tonight, we're going to be doing that to get started. And then, of course, we're going to move on into practicing um, the mostly the conversation and also the um, different activities that we can carry out when it comes to celebrating a specific situations or um certain situations like birthdays what do we do or what is the most common thing that we do for birthdays what do we do for independence day or different holidays like that all right so um to get started that is the question for tonight what are your plans for the weekend esta vez les voy a estar dejando la pregunta también acá en el chat para que ustedes tengan una idea más clara verdad what are your plans for the weekend sí básicamente ¿Cuáles son los planes que podemos tener para eh, este fin de semana? So, um, let's see if we get to hear from who? Maybe um, Atenas. Maybe you can get started. Tell me, do you have any plans for this coming weekend? Um, this weekend, uh, go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. uh, laundry... Uh, laundry and clean my house. All right. So basically, chores. Esos los podemos eh, resumir en la palabra chores. Sí. Básicamente, cuando hacemos oficios, puede ser, it can be like doing the dishes or um, washing the dishes, doing laundry, um, mopping the floor um sweeping dust out of things so all of those activities can be referred to as chores también el ir de compras o sea cuando vamos when we go uh, do grocery shopping que es la diferencia verdad que existe entre eh, sería grocery shopping y el shopping shopping or do groceries perdón esta esta sería la forma más apropiada do groceries sería la la forma de referirnos a esto como actividad, sí. Do groceries es, vamos a usarlo cuando vamos a comprar comida o cosas necesarias para el hogar. And uh, go shopping es cuando vamos de compras, pero por ya gustos. When we go um, shopping for clothing, electronics, um, furniture, things that are not necessarily a requirement at home. So the first one is do groceries and then we have go shopping. Ahora, si ustedes simplemente quieren decir voy a hacer mandados cuando ustedes salen de su casa a hacer diferentes mandados, eso lo podemos decir como run errands. ¿Sí? Run errands. Esa sería la forma de decir que van a hacer mandados. I have to run some errands. Si ustedes están haciendo un mandado y quieren decir ah, estoy haciendo un mandado, podemos decir I'm running an errand. Eso sería en, en presente, ¿verdad? En participio. Podemos decirlo así también. I'm running an errand. Si estoy haciendo un mandado. Eh, okay. Uh, thank you for letting me know. 
And I hope you feel better soon, Elizabeth. But thank you. Thank you for um, clarifying that. All right. So we have chores, que serían pues, los oficios, oficios diferentes en la casa. The groceries, when we go shopping for food or um, necessities. Go shopping, it's uh, when we go for, um, you know, luxuries or things that we not, don't necessarily need but want. And then run errands, which will be, well, doing different things like paying bills or maybe um when you go to a meeting a, a parents meeting at, at school or, or your children's school um what else maybe if you go to the city hall that might be counted as an errand um if you go to a bank that is also going i mean running an errand básicamente todas las actividades todos los que conocemos como mandado verdad ir al banco um qué sé yo hasta ir al doctor cosas así o pasar por una farmacia, una ferretería, that is running an errand. Ok, muy bien, vamos a ver lo siguiente. Uh, let's hear from... Um, who? maybe Diego. In your case, Diego, what are your plans for this coming weekend? Um, I have to work. <laughs> well... In the weekend. Um, we have um, uh, to take off a um, super selective project. Mm -hmm. And then visit my girlfriend. Oh, that's nice. Okay, very good. Sounds like a nice plan. So you go to work and uh, um, when you have some time, you're also going to go visit your girlfriend. That's great. It sounds like a, like a nice plan. Very good. Hopefully your work is going to be fun. You know, for all of you guys who work on weekends, I normally tell you that, that I hope you find something uh, nice happening at work. Because it's not fun, of course, to be working while the rest of the people are just, I don't know, maybe at home or doing something different. Um, but if you have to work, hope I hope that you have a good time at your work. All right, moving on. Um, how about we hear from Jacqueline? In your case, Jacqueline, what are your plans for this coming weekend? I work on Saturday mm -hmm. and day off um see my house. Okay, and great. So yeah, uh, another one that has to work. That's as I said before, unfortunate because yeah, who doesn't want to have days off? You know, to be home maybe to spend time with family, to spend time with friends. But if we have to work, it's part of life. Working is part of life, and we have to do it. You know, when we are um, called to do it, we have to be there. So good luck for all of you guys who are going to work. Uh, moving on, let's hear maybe from uh, Susana. How about you, Susana? What are your plans for this coming weekend? Um, I I go um, uh cinema with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Um, and date, uh, I did, nosotros, we, we had a day, um, Planet de Renderos. Oh, okay. Um, I eat <laughs> pupusas in chocolate. Okay, great. Sounds nice. Yeah, that sounds very fun. What movie are you guys going to watch? Do you have an idea of what is the movie that you're, that you're watching, Susana? Um, I... <laughs> Todavía no decidimos. Ah, bueno, uh, yeah. uh, Lo que pasa es que a veces vamos al cine, pero... Solo porque queremos ir al cine. Mm -hmm. y, y ya cuando estamos en la sala decidimos. Ah, okay. Well, if you take a recommendation, I don't know if you like the series, but if you want to watch Fast X, the Fast and Furious movie, it is really um... good. I highly recommend that one. I watched it the other day with my girlfriend as well, and it was really fun. So if you want, you know, there is a recommendation. Um, But yeah, that's nice. That's a nice idea. You know, going to the movies, not necessarily knowing what is going to be there, but... um you know, picking what you guys are going to watch there. That's nice. In my case, it will be basically impossible for me to do that because 
I am a big movie fan. Like I do love to watch movies and I am like always looking forward to the next movie that is coming out. So what I do is that, uh, well, for example, from now to the end of August, I think that most of my weekends are going to be spent at least for a chunk of time at the movies because so many good movies are coming out and I want to watch all of them. Um, so it's, you know, for me, it will be hard, I think, to go to the movies and only pick uh, what to watch when we are there. I did that once with my two sisters. We were um, getting a dress, I remember, for one of them. And um, we had some spare time. You know, we were supposed to spend the whole morning picking the dress, but we luckily found one very early. So we decided to watch a movie and we just, you know, went as you guys uh, do. We went to the movie theater and then we picked what to watch once we were there. Um, but then also going to Planet Sarranderos sounds like a fun activity as well. You know, they say that it's cozy and uh, um, very nice in the afternoon. I actually have never been to Planet Sarranderos. I mean, I am from San Miguel, so it's like kind of far for me. Uh, and I have been to many places in San Salvador, but never to Planet Sarranderos. But maybe one time, maybe. But okay, great. Thank you very much for sharing. Moving on. Okay. Uh, let's hear from, um, let's see, um, Rebecca, how about you? Do you have any plans, any special plans for this weekend? Uh, well, um, I'm going to study for my master's degree because I had homework to do. And that's all. Okay, well, you know, there are different ways of spending a weekend and studying is one of them. Getting to study, yeah, yeah taking, I mean, making the most of the weekend um, to get more knowledge into our brains is, of course, going to be a great idea. And also because weekends are, you know, a whole day that we can use to, to go ahead and study. So good luck with that. Very nice. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing time. All right. Um, maybe now we can hear from Ana Lucia Monroy. How about you? Do you have any plans for this coming weekend? Hi, teacher. Hey there. I'm going to buy in the supermarket and okay. visit my sister. Oh, that's and, nice. And eat together okay nice that sounds great yeah going to the supermarket also visiting your sister and eating together that sounds like a nice plan you know spending some time um sharing and talking is always going to be good so nice very nice uh let's see now if we can hear from blanca how about you do you have any special plans for this coming weekend um okay hi Hi. Um, so you were the one that was walking. Hi. Hace rato vi alguien Good que evening. estaba. No me fijé, solo vi que alguien estaba como corriendo. Ahí yo dije, ¿quién será? No me fijé en el nombre. Okay, so yeah. Good evening. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. And um, así se dice. Buenas noches. Yes. 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 Sí. Okay. And um, my case. Um, the weekend uh, is descansar. So it's a rest. Rest. Yeah? Yes. 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 Rest. All day, the Saturday and the Sunday, um, and the visit my parents and and con mis hijas, so dice with my, my daughters, my daughters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes okay. so practically. Great, yeah. that sounds nice. Yeah, so resting the whole Saturday and also visiting your parents with your daughters, uh, on Sunday. Nice. That sounds like a great plan as well. You know, getting to rest as it's always needed for our bodies. And uh, there you have an example of what some people say, that women are better than men at multitasking. Because if I were you, I would, I think I will not be able to be in a class and also doing some workout at the same time, honestly. Like, I am better when I just sit and do uh, the thing that I have to do. Like, in my case, for example, so many times yes. it, has, it has happened to me that I go to the gym before... I, I do these classes, so it happens almost all the time that when I'm at the gym, sometimes I'm like texting my girlfriend when she doesn't come with me because she used to come with me like five months ago. Now she said that she's not going to come uh, unless I lose some weight because I was gaining weight. Um, 
So I'm sometimes texting her and then I forget that I was, uh, you know, talking to her. I put my phone aside and it's like, I totally forget. So I, I am not really that good at multitasking, like at doing two or three things at a time. And I have heard that women are very good at that. You know, they have that ability of doing one, two, and of course, up to three things at the same time. So great. That sounds, I mean, that, that is something very nice. Um, Thanks. So Thank you. Yeah, great. Very good of you. Uh, and the last person for the night. I think that tonight we're going to get to hear from uh, Mercedes. So tell me, Mercedes, do you have any special plans for this coming weekend? Um, I go to um, mm -hmm. music event. To, to what? Sorry. I go to a music event. Event. Oh yeah, music hall or yeah, music event. Um, event and I celebrate um, my best friend birthday. Club. Uh huh. Yes, my best friend's birthday. Oh, okay. I need that. Great. Um, en el caso de lo del music event, eh, ¿de qué se trata? Te pr pregunto porque hay diferentes formas de referirnos dependiendo de qué sea. Entonces, el, el music event en sí, ¿cómo es como el formato? ¿Es como de una banda o es de baile? ¿O eh, cómo sería? Concert. No. Oh, un concierto. Concert. Ah, ok, ok, ya. Yeah. Si es un concierto, es, es así directamente, ¿verdad? Concert. Porque si es, por ejemplo, um, un concierto normalmente es como de un artista ya establecido. Si un artista eh, reconocido y así, es un concierto. Si es, por ejemplo, un concierto, nosotros en español nos referiríamos a esto como concierto, pero si es, por decir así, de la escuela, de la iglesia, o sea, un grupo, ¿verdad?, de personas pues, de la comunidad, digamos, en ese caso sería musical performance, sí, no va a ser, um, o también podríamos decir como, como dijiste al principio, musical event, sí, podría ser musical performance o musical event. Um, ok, sorry to hear that you're sick, Connie, but I hope you can, uh, you can get better soon, and it's ok, it's ok, hopefully you get better soon, thank you for being with us, even though it's hard, so thank you. Entonces, el musical performance o musical event sería para un concierto, como les decía, de quizás de la iglesia, de la escuela, de la misma comunidad, entonces como de un grupo pequeño, un grupo no necesariamente reconocido. Y lo mismo, tenemos también um, cuando son como eventos donde habrá diferentes personas, eh, ese sería como un music festival, o sea, cuando hay eh, diferentes artistas, ¿verdad? Digamos, ya de cinco en adelante, ese puede ser un music festival, o sea, un festival de música, y, o sea, es por lo mismo, ¿verdad? Porque es un evento con diferentes artistas. Entonces, tenemos ahí variedad para poder referirnos a los, a los eventos o a las cosas que tienen que ver, pues, con esto, con la música. Pero igual, conciertos, como les digo, los conciertos, se reserva la idea del concierto princip principalmente para, eh, para las personas o los artistas que ya están pues establecidos, tienen una carrera y ya tienen un nombre y todo. Entonces, normalmente así vamos a conocer um, los concerts. Pero bueno, so we have this conversation that we were shown last night. We had an opportunity to take a look at it last night. Um, and tonight we are going to be um, developing something different. We're going to be working on this, but at the end of the lesson, but right now, we're going to talk about this. Okay, special occasions. We have here Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. Um, al otro día, bueno, más bien ayer, no hablamos acerca de estos dos días, Mother's Day and Father's Day, que son dos días bastante importantes y son en nuestro país, en nuestra cultura, son holidays, son national holidays. En Estados Unidos son dos días que, si bien es cierto, sí se celebran, tampoco son celebrados con aquel... O sea, como con la misma emoción que son celebrados acá. En Estados Unidos es mucho más común eh, que se celebren, sí, con tal vez una cena o algo así, pero no es algo tan grande, ¿verdad? Por otro lado, la otra cosa es que se celebran en días específicos. Perdón. Sí, días específicos, no fechas. Ajá, es la diferencia que existe, ¿verdad? Entre nosotros y Estados Unidos. 
Entonces, se celebran en días, no en fechas. O sea, cuando digo la fecha es porque, por ejemplo, para nosotros el Día de la Madre es el 10 de mayo, independientemente si este es un jueves, un lunes, un domingo, un sábado, es el 10 de mayo. En cambio, en Estados Unidos se celebra el segundo domingo de mayo. Lo mismo con el Father's Day, se celebra el segundo domingo de junio. Entonces, no tiene necesariamente, ¿verdad?, un, um, como una importancia en el sentido de la vacación que puede haber. O sea, sí hay o sea, celebración, no es que no, pero no hay necesariamente una vacación. O sea, como nosotros sí llevamos, llegamos, ¿verdad?, a, a tener esa oportunidad. Bueno. So, what I want to do tonight is that we get to talk about the different things that we do depending on uh, the special occasion. So, for that reason, we're going to be working on full page and also we're going to do some annotations here. Um, so, I want to see if uh, or what are the activities that we normally perform depending on what is the occasion. Tenemos las diferentes actividades. We have send cards. That is the first one. Send cards. Basically, this means um, enviar tarjetas. Sí, tarjetas pues como de uh, felicitación. Then we have get presents. Give presents. Um, like, do we get presents for um, what? For a, a wedding or things like that? So, yeah, give presents. Then we have take pictures. Take pictures. Esa sería la siguiente, ¿verdad? Take pictures. Um, then we also have a uh, dance, yeah, a dance. Eso sería el, um, perdón, sing songs, sing songs, sería sing songs, si, si cantamos en esta fecha. Entonces tenemos esto, sing songs. Then we have dance. Dance es si llegamos a bailar en esta fecha especial. Then we have eat cake. Si comemos pastel en esta fecha, well, we're going to see. Have a party tener una fiesta, o sea, have a party is different to dance, because when we have a party, it's like um, dancing, we can do dancing in a small groups of people, having a party means to have a large group of people um, then have a picnic sería otra de las diferentes cosas que pueden hacerse, have a picnic and eat special food eat special food, vamos a ver vamos a empezar entonces con Mother's Day sí, vamos a ir en orden um, descendiendo en las actividades so for Mother's Day Quisiera elegir a uno de ustedes que me diga cuáles son las actividades que creen que se realizan o que al menos ustedes realizan regularmente en Mother's Day. Para esta vamos a tomar a Albert. Entonces, Albert, for Mother's Day, para el Día de la Madre, do you think it's okay or it's normal that people send cards to mothers? ¿Cree usted que es normal que se, o se practica al menos que las personas envíen tarjetas a las mamás? Albert Martinez. Okay, seems like we do not have um Albert right now. Maybe then we can hear from uh, Luis, Luis Lopez. So tell me, Luis, do you think it's normal or it's regular that for Mother's Day people send cards to moms? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we say. Yes, it's something common that we um, send cards to moms. What about give presents? Do you think it's common that we give presents to moms? Or say, so the give presents is the regalos. So you think it's common to give presents? Yeah. Okay, so yes, we give presents. How about take pictures? Do we normally take pictures on Mother's Day? Yes. Okay, so we say, yes, Mother's Day is also a day to take pictures. How about sing songs? Do you think singing songs is common on Mother's Day? Eh, esa no me recuerdo que dijo que significaba. Sing songs yes. es cantar, sí, o sea, cantar, es redundante en español, cantar canciones, pero, eh, pues, cantar. Yes, también. Yes, okay, sí, verdad, la de la madre, madrecita eh, querida. Uy, sorry. Uh oh. Uh, it doesn't take it back. Wait, I'm going to have to erase this over here. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, sing songs is also a common situation. How about dancing? Do we do dancing for Mother's Day? What do you think? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, how about eating cake? Do we eat cake for Mother's Day? Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, so Mother's Day basically is uh the day that has the biggest celebration apart from Christmas in our country. So yeah, it's common that we have all of these things. How about have a party? Do we normally have a party for Mother's Day? Tener una fiesta. Mm -hmm. eh, regularmente, ¿sí? regular. Por el caso el... Hola. A veces, a veces. A veces, ok. Sí, a veces se da, ¿verdad? Que hay personas que organizan fiestas, o sea, grandes para las mamás de la comunidad. So, yeah, it's something that happens. How about sí. have a picnic? Do you think having a picnic is common in Mother's Day? Mm, yes. Yes, okay, yeah, normally, I mean, people like to take their moms out to, um, I don't know, a place outdoors, so, yeah. How about eating a special food? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you very much. So, we do basically yes. all of them for Mother's Day. Nice, very, very good. Now, moving on, let's see if we can get, um, let me see who, Eduardo. So, Eduardo, you're going to help me with Father's Day and the activities that you practice on Father's Day. So, Eduardo Elias, um, do we normally send cards on Father's Day or at least you and your family send cards on Father's Day? Um, maybe. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we only... Solo vamos a poner un par de puntitos entonces porque es un maybe. Yeah, it's, it's possible, but for Father's Day, it's not like the same emotion, right? How about give presents? Do we normally give presents on Father's yes. Day? Yes, right. So yeah, it's more common to give presents to parents. Okay. Um, how about take pictures? Yes. Yes, right. Yeah. Taking pictures nowadays mostly has become a very common um thing. How about singing songs? Yes. Yes. Viejo, mi querido viejo. Mm -hmm. In my case, mm -hmm. I always uh I, I don't mm -hmm. sing it, but at least I play it for my dad um for Father's Day. How about dancing? Do we mm. have dances on Father's Day? No creo. No, verdad. Eso, los papás son más gruñones, mm. así que cuesta más convencerlos de sí. que haya baile. Okay, sí, concuerdo con la idea. I have never seen a dance on my dad's, I mean, on Father's Day. How about eating cake? Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, a quien no le gusta. So, yeah, eating cake. Um, How about having a party? Yes. Yeah, right. It's also, I think that for Father's Day is more common than for Mother's Day because uh, for Father's Day, I feel like it's, I mean, we as men, we like to celebrate in, in bigger groups. So I feel like fathers feel better when they are in larger groups than we ha when they have the celebration for them, like all alone. Uh, how about having a picnic? Is having a picnic common on Father's Day? Maybe. Okay. It's another maybe. Okay. Okay, something that can happen, but it's not that common, right? How about eating a special food? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, yes, it is very common to eat a special food on Father's Day. All right. So, there we go. Thank you very much, Eduardo. Moving on. Right. Now, we're going to get, um, let me see. I think we're going to get to hear from Rebecca for a graduation. Rebecca, what do you think? Is sending cards a common um, deed? On a graduation? Mm, I think no. Okay, so sending cards is not that common. Yeah. How about giving presents? Is it common to give presents on um on a graduation? Um I think yes. Yeah, um, it happens more often. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think uh when the family of the graduation um organize an event or dinner and the participants and I don't know what no sé qué otro significado utilizar pero mm -hmm. cuando asisten los invitados mm -hmm. llevan algún presente yeah, that's common. Sí, es mm -hmm. bastante común el hecho de que los en este caso vamos a utilizar la palabra guests. Ah, okay, yes. Guests. No sé si alguna vez ustedes han visto, bueno, eh, así sería, guests en plural, sí. Si fuese solamente un invitado, sería solo guests, pero eh, es guests. Y luego okay. tenemos otra palabra que se parece mucho, que es la que utilizamos para adivinar, sí, guests. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, so mm -hmm. guests, yeah, great. Um, yeah, that's something very common as well. Guests normally bring uh, gifts 
you know, on on a graduation. So yes. How about singing songs? Um no, I think no. Yeah, depending maybe the only graduation that has a song is the high school one. Sí, la de soy bachiller, pero ni se canta, o sea, solo se escucha a veces, ¿verdad? Pero no, it doesn't really have a song. How about uh, dance? Do we dance on graduations? Um, hola. Um, I don't know. I think hola. maybe. Maybe, yeah, sometimes, yeah. depending yeah. on the graduation. Yeah, because I have been to graduations where there is dances, but many graduations not don't necessarily have a dance. How about eating cake? Do we eat cake on graduations? Yes. Hola, mami. Mm -hmm. Cuando yo me gradué de bachillerato, mi nombre es Oscar José, y a mí me pusieron um, Carlos José. Y yo como, ¿de verdad? Carlos. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, on, on the cake, en, en, el, en el pastel, digo, en el pastel, llegué a la pastelería y le pusieron Carlos José. Y yo como, ¿qué? Cuando lo sacaron, esto no es mío, le dije yo. <laughs> But yeah. Uh, eating cake is also very common. Okay. How about uh, having a party? Do we normally have parties on graduations or for graduations? Uh, I think yes. Yeah. It's, depending on, on the graduation and also the family, there is yeah. normally a, a party. How about having a picnic? No, I think no. Yeah. And how about eating a special food? Yes. Yeah. I think food, esa pregunta siento que es casi que un, un hecho para todos. Siento que en todas mm -hmm. es like special food is always going to be there. Okay, thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you okay. for letting me know about your perspective on this celebration. Uh, now, let's see, for the wedding. Uh, en este caso voy a pedir entonces un, un voluntario. ¿Quién me ¿A quién le gustaría ayudarme con lo de la boda? Me. Okay, thank you. Um, so let's get started. Um, for the wedding, do we normally send cards? What do you think, Connie? Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Normally, for weddings, we send cards. Mostly when we're not close, right, to the to the people who are getting married. How about giving presents? Yes. Yes. All right. Great. So yeah, it's very common to give presents. How about uh, taking pictures? Yes. Yes, right. Yeah, give, taking pictures is also very, very common. Mostly <laughs> now that, you know, we have phones all over the place. So it's like we're taking pictures of almost everything. So, of course, in a celebration, we're going to take pictures. Yes. Um, how about singing songs? Yes. Okay. Uh, it, there are a few th songs and normally also there are some romantic songs that we like mm -hmm. to sing, you know, for, uh, for the new couple. How about dance? dance? Yeah, dancing is also very common. Creo que no hay boda mm -hmm. que no... Bueno, sí hay algunas, <laughs> claro, ¿verdad? Pero eh, la mayoría de las bodas tienen al menos una forma de baile. Exactly. Okay, how about eating cake? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the most important things on the wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about um, having a party? Yes. Yeah, right. It's a given. Basically, no one gets married without a party. It's raro ver a alguien que se case sin una fiesta. Okay, how about having a picnic? No. No, it's not common. And eating no. special food? Yes. I will say yes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Very nice. Thank you very much, Connie. Moving on. Now we're going to go and hear a from uh, let me see i think that uh, for the last one for the anniversary i would like to hear from a man to see how um how romantic we can be hmm oscar you haven't participated tonight so oscar gonzalez uh what do you think for an anniversary do you think sending cards is like a common practice I think yes. Yes, okay. Mostly like as a surprise, right, for your couple. Like you are um trying to surprise them with I don't know, a special message. So there you have it. You send a card. How about giving presents? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hasta problema es si uno no se acuerda de comprarle algo <laughs> el aniversario. Y no te acordaste. Okay. How about taking pictures? Mm, yes. Yeah, yes. right. 
nowadays i think i think it's it has become i mean i think pictures nowadays are basically in every celebration a few years back of course there were not as many cameras available but now it's like pictures are everywhere y las cosas no pasan si uno no toma foto básicamente así se siente uno hoy en día how about singing songs you think singing songs is common on anniversary i think uh, sometimes Okay, depending on um depending on the occasion, I think it's possible. Yeah. Um how about uh dance? What do you think? Mm, I think no. No? no. Okay. So no. dancing would not be the most common thing. Um how about eating cake? Yes, I eat in cake. Okay, so eating cake and an anniversary, or at least eating some kind of dessert. Um, how about having a party? Do you think having a party is common on an anniversary? Yes, I see oh. that. Okay, yo diría, and like the thing of the party is maybe depending on the anniversary, porque anniversary. Más, que todo, ajá, más que todo para los como los 25, 50, es que a la gente le gusta celebrar bastante, verdad, el aniversario. But I think that for regular anniversaries, it's more like a, a couple thing. But yeah, I mean, having a party can be a normal thing. How about a picnic? Do you think having a picnic at an anniversary is common? I think I know. No? No? Okay. Oh. And how about a special food? Yes, I, I eat a special food. Okay, great. So, there we have it. Um... Right. So we have some of the things that at least we consider to be part of uh, regular celebrations or celebrations for these special occasions. It seems like we do most of them. The least common one is going to be um, having a picnic because, of course, having a picnic is not like the most common thing to do. But still, you know, it's it's sometimes possible. Um, in my case, Personally, for an anniversary, I think I would like to have a picnic. Um, I think on an anniversary, I will do most of them. Uh, I will not necessarily send a card. I would give a present. I will take pictures. I will sing a song, maybe. Having a dance, probably, if it's only, you know, me and her. Um, eating cake, probably not. Having a party, no, probably not either. Having a picnic, yes, and also eating some special food. Apart from that, I think for the rest of them, it's a very common thing. Um, the and there is only one celebration, and I agree with this. Este de hecho es una de las que, o sea, estoy de acuerdo en que para el día de la madre casi que todas estas cosas, verdad, pueden llegar a ser um realizadas, o sea, pueden llegar a ser tomadas en cuenta. So yeah, I mean, Mother's Day probably is one. Oh, okay, it's it's okay, Diego, no problem. Um, so yeah, Mother's Day is probably one of those celebrations that has a little bit of everything. Pero bien, vamos a ver. Ahora, moviéndonos un poco de esto, vamos a pasar a la siguiente que, um, it will be about what are you going to do on your birthday? ¿Sí? ¿Qué vas a hacer en tu cumpleaños? Ahora, tenemos acá dos diferentes, um, bueno, cuatro diferentes lecturas. Sí, tenemos una que eh, trata acerca de Elena Villanueva. Then we have um, Yang Xin Shi. I hope I pronounced that well. And then we have Mr. and Mrs. A um, Aoki and Philippe Jolie. So, we have all these readings. Lo que quiero que hagamos con esto principalmente es practicar un poco de lectura. Sí, tenemos entonces aquí lo que vamos a hacer o cómo va a funcionar es... Yo le voy a dar lectura a los cuatro ahorita y luego ustedes van a tener la oportunidad de leerlo eh, el que ustedes elijan. O sea, ustedes van a poder elegir cuál les pareció más interesante y cuál quisieran eh, practicar ahorita, ¿verdad? So, we have the first one. Elena Buenaventura. She is from Madrid. And she says, My 21st birthday is on Saturday. And I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to pull on me on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. 
Then we have um, Yan Xin Shi. She uh, or he is she is from Taipei. And she says, tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. And then we have Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. And they say, my husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called um, Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give um, something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and best. And then we have Philippe Jolie from Paris. From Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. All right. So, esas son las lecturas. Son bastante cortas, ¿verdad? No tienen uh, una mayor complicación. Así que, de forma voluntaria, quisiera que eh, ustedes elijan cuál les gustaría leer. Sí. Um, so, who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría iniciar? Mm, yo voy a Uh, okay, Oscar, which one would you like to read? Elena Buenaventura. Okay, go ahead then, when you feel ready. Uh, my my, my 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I am going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to pillow my first 20 one side, one for each year. It is an old custom. Some people pull on the earth, just some, but my friends are very traditional. All right, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Um, now, how about Rebecca? Which one would you like to read? Yeah, um, solo una consulta. ¿Qué significa mm -hmm. they're going to pull on my ear 21 times? Eh, van a alar mi oreja, sí. Pull on. Ah. Ajá, lo del típico jalón de orejas que nos damos en los cumples. So, yeah, okay. 21 times. Okay. Uh, the same, well, would, would you like to read the same? Yeah, Mr. and Miss Aoki. Oh, okay. Yeah. From There Kiel. you have it. Okay. Yeah. Um, my husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th, 60th birthday is called Kanri, Karaki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are, what are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. Good fluency. Um, how about Flor? Which one would you like to read? La de... Lo que pasa es que la ha la subido. Hay que bajarlo un poquito. Ajá, ahí. ajá, ok. Yan Chin Chi Taibi. Ok, go ahead then, when you feel ready. Tomorrow is my system. Birday is... I, uh, I special birthday so we're going to have a um, family ceremony, ceremony ceremony I am probably going to have some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to call knowledge, knowledge are in for a long life. All right, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so the only thing here is that um, this word, we normally say it noodles. Sí, noodles, noodles. Noodles. Mm -hmm. noodles. Se refiere a los fideos. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Sí, noodles. Mi mamá va a cocinar fideos. Los fideos representan una larga vida. Noodles. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, how about... Ahora sí ya no tengo... Uh, 
vamos a ver voluntarios, así que me toca elegir a un par de ustedes. Vamos a ver. Um, tomemos, oh, there we have one. Um, Albert. Okay, Albert, which one would you like to read? Okay, I'm going to be treated next week. So I'm going to invite invite their very good friends out the out to dinner in France when you have a birthday. You often invited people out in some countries. I know it's the opposite people take you out. All right. Sí, eso es algo que honestamente me llamó la atención la primera vez que lo leí. Que, o sea, en Francia la costumbre es que el festejado invita, ¿verdad?, a sus amigos o a, los, a las personas que desea invitar a la cena, o sea, a cenar. Entonces, eh, es algo, no sé, como les digo, me llamó la atención, pero, um, pues sí, hay diferencias, ¿verdad?, en la cultura de diferentes lugares. Acá, pues para nosotros es... Uh, completamente lo contrario o sea para nosotros lo, lo común es que pues sí que al Invito. festejado se le invita Ajá, al festejado se le invita a comer entonces pero pues en Francia aparentemente es diferente imagínense cumplir años y es como estar con esa presión de que ah, a ver a quién voy a invitar y luego o sea como ustedes están pagando la gente se puede molestar como ah no me invitas a tu cumpleaños y así verdad pero bueno diferencias culturales que existen en diferentes lugares Vamos a ver, I would like to hear at least from two more of you guys, al menos dos más, para luego ir a practicar la conversación, ¿verdad? En los breakout rooms. Así que creo que vamos a, a tener que buscar quizás ayuda de um, Mercedes. Would you like to practice any of these four chapters? Hello, hello. Mercedes está hablando, ¿no? Ah, creo que tenemos problemas porque no logro escuchar, entonces. Yeah, we are in trouble there. Bueno, um, how about we try... No, sorry, I cannot hear you. Oh, okay, okay, understood. <laughs> okay, how about we try then with uh, Ana Lucia? Would you like to try reading any of these four different paragraphs, Ana Lucia? Cualquiera. Yes, you can pick anyone. Uh, Elena, me... buena. Sí, de Elena. Okay, el de Elena, acá está entonces. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 26th birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to out with some friends. So wish me a happy birthday. They are going to call on my ear 21 times. One sorry year. It's an old, old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once. But my friends are very traditional. All right, very nice. Yeah, that sounds uh, very, very good. Great, thank you. And the last person that we're going to hear from tonight in the reading section, at least, is going to be Eduardo. Eduardo, Eduardo sorry, which one would you like to read? Uh, Philip. Okay, there you have it. Uh, I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out in some countries. I know it's the opposite people take you out. Um, now, I have a question for you. Would you like to invite friends to dinner when it's your birthday? ¿Le gustaría hacer eso a usted? ¿Invitar a sus amigos a cenar cuando sea su cumpleaños? Mm. Yes. Yes? Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah. In my case, I, I think, I mean, I, I don't know how I will feel because it's something that I will have to get used to because it's, you know, normally the opposite, as he says, in, in many countries and ours included, it's more common that friends have you out or uh, invite you out when it's, you know, your birthday. But it's, as I said before, it's the practice of that country. 
Here, we do not have that practice. We don't do that necessarily. But uh, yeah, it is as it is. Ok, ahora vamos a pasar a lo que les decía, uy, perdón, anteriormente. Vamos entonces a practicar esta conversación. Si gustan, pueden obtener las capturas ahorita. Eh, lo que voy a hacer es que voy a leerlo una vez más, así para que tengamos eh, fresca la idea y también aclarar, ¿verdad? Alguna duda que haya con alguna de las palabras en esta conversación. Muy bien. So, we have uh, Mona and Tyler. Those are the two people being part of it. Um, so, the conversation should go as following. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay. Bastante fácil, ¿verdad? No creo que haya muchas complicaciones. No sé si tengan alguna duda de cómo se pronuncia alguna de las palabras acá. Eh, si no, pues bueno. Pasamos entonces a lo que sería um, la parte de los breakout rooms. Sí, nos vamos a estar dividiendo ahorita en los grupos pequeños para practicar esta conversación. Así que uh, vamos a ir allá. Espero, bueno, la vez pasada, la verdad, ya les comenté más o menos cómo hacer para poder compartir la pantalla y para poder eh, practicar con los grupos. Así que si hay alguna duda, ya saben que igual en los breakout rooms pueden alzar la mano y yo les voy a ayudar, ¿verdad? Independientemente si estoy en otro grupo. Ok, so, uh, let's get into them now. I am going to open the breakout rooms just about now. Yeah, I'm going to, to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where Where are you going to to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like them. How about you? What are What are you going to do? Well, I go. I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to them. Sound like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you, too. 
¿Alguien sabe quién es? ¿Qué significa so like fun? ¿El qué, perdón? So like fun. Esa. Suena, es como suena divertido. Ah, sí. sí. Um, so, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I am going to take my hair out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to the restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Some like fun will have a good Valentine's date. Um, thanks, thanks, you too. Is that a key donde dice Taylor? How how about you? Es como que how about how about you, verdad? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are about you? How about you? See? What about you? Sí. Hacer el papel de Mona. So, sorry, I want you going to, to do anything special for Valentine's Day. Uh, well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fine. We'll have a good, a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. No sé, no sé si hay interferencia, pero yo no, yo sí escuchaba, no sé, ahí yo vi también. que escribieron en el chat. Yo, yo, a que... yo a Mercedes cuando estábamos practicando, a lo lejos le encantaba sí. entender. Ajá. Sí, se oía bien suavecito, como sí. bien despacio. Si vale, quieres, ejemplo, cambiamos. No Vaya, entonces ahora yo quiero ver, entonces inicie usted, Oscar, y le sigo yo. Ok. Ok, dice, so Taylor, are you going to do, to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I am going to take my hair free out for dinner. All right. Where are you going to do? Uh, Laguna eats her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not uh, going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to the Adams. So, life fun. Well, had a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Hey. Hoy va Lucy con... Mercedes. Ajá. All right. So once again, it was a pleasure seeing you guys practice. Um, as always, or I mean, as I am getting used to seeing you, uh, it's you know it's great how you guys are are um interchanging character and also doing more practice because that is the biggest recommendation that I have for you. You know, practice as much as possible. Try to switch characters. Try to um speak you know or practice even more if possible if we have spare time go ahead and practice um yes Rebecca tell me um sí una pregunta en mm -hmm. la plataforma de inglés eh, <coughs> debemos completar sección 1 y 2 verdad As, sí. más tarde de la mañana así es mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí. Okay. 
Sí, es lo, 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 como les decía al principio del primer día, eh, normalmente pues es lo recomendado. Ellos van dándoles las fechas eh, de lo que deben completar ustedes y pues por otro lado la clase es probable que vaya, ¿verdad? Por un camino un poco diferente. Así que sí, pero de momento okay. eso es lo, lo indicado, que ustedes trabajen en uh, las, las secciones 1 y 2. Ok, gracias. Okay, you're welcome. So, um, for tonight, basically that is it, guys. And also for this week. So, we're going to be meeting again until uh, next Monday. So, thank you very much for being here. It has been a pleasure getting to meet you guys and getting to know you a little bit as well. Uh, I hope you have an amazing weekend. And I also hope we can see one another next Monday. So, hope you spend an amazing night tonight. And see you Monday. So bye-bye for now. Yeah. Bye-bye.